everybody. Welcome to the last day of the January. It's the finale, day 31. Today, I'm making a very special recipe. I feel like this is the holy the culmination. Grail. The whole this is like the holy grail recipe that everybody searches for when they go vegan or vegetarian. I want the perfect chicken nugget. Woo! I think I found it. Homemade, under 10 ingredients. It's gonna be magical. Trust me. This I've been through so many recipes so many different formulations and this is the one all right this is really simple too you don't need a mixer you don't the only thing you need is a steamer so in the bowl over here i have almost all of the ingredients i've got some vital wheat gluten some plain ass panko breadcrumbs don't get the seasoned ones just get the plain uh cardboardy ones some nooch aka nutritional yeast poultry seasoning granulated garlic, granulated onion, and sea salt. So those are all of the dry ingredients. So the thing that you want to do is mix these all together before you add the wet ones so that you don't get any pockets of like spices or nooch. You want everything pretty much uniformly blended before you put the dry, before you mix the dry with the wet. How easy was that? So now, we're going to put the first wet ingredient in, and that is tahini. I'm not even going to measure this. This is how easy this is. We're going to do about <laughs> a tablespoon if it ever comes out. Come on! That is exactly, wait, wait, wait for it, a tablespoon. Then one other ingredient, and that is aquafaba the liquid that you usually throw out from a can of beans it doesn't even have to be chickpeas but we're using chickpeas today because i think the flavor of chickpeas is very complementary to chicken do you think that when they named it chick peas i don't know it's because it kind of it's like chicken -y. maybe so we need a quarter of a cup of aquafaba Aquafaba is pretty freaking amazing. You can do a lot of stuff with this. I've even made whipped cream with aquafaba. You can make meringue too. So we're just gonna put that in the center and then we're gonna mix it. Now, the trick here is you don't want to over mix because the more you mix this, the tougher and chewier it's gonna get. And we want our chicken nuggets to be light and fluffy. So we wanna mix this as little as possible, but don't be ridiculous. Like that's not enough, obviously, because there's still dry parts there. Just till everything comes together. I like how you tell everyone, don't be ridiculous. Yeah. <laughs> Look at how beautiful that has come together. So easy to mix. Obviously, this is a very small batch. This is like, this is probably like just a little bit less than a bag of Gardein chicken nuggets. I mean, size one. Or like a six piece. No, it's probably about a nine piece. Okay. About nine pieces. I mean, you could make strips, you could make patties. That's how, that's what we're going for. This recipe is very easy to double, to quadruple, whatever you want. All right, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna shape our nuggets. So we're doing nugget shape. <laughs> You can, you can even do like just a circle or whatever. We're putting it on a steamer basket. We're not putting it in the water because then it will get too soggy. So we're doing these on top. And it, it, we're doing it in the um, pressure cooker, but we're doing it on steam. If you don't have a pressure cooker, um, just use one of these in a pan and with a lid and water. <laughs> These are going to plump up a little bit, but not really too much. I mean, this is what you see is what you get. This is the shape that they're going to remain. And these are not going to be like a scary gray color. You know, like sometimes when you make um, seitan, it kind of turns out like gray. <laughs> this is going to be a beautiful chicken nugget color. All right, so these are ready to go in the pressure cooker now. I'm going to pour my water in from the bottom to steam it. This is going in here. We're putting the lid on. We're closing the valve. We're going to do, where is it? Steamed vegetables. It's already set for seven minutes, full pressure, start. And we'll come back when that's done.
All right, so they're all ready. Uh, I've already released the pressure on these and I'm gonna take them out. They look amazing. Ooh. So we're just gonna let them sit here and cool while we do our coating. All right, so here's the thing. I'm gonna fry these. <laughs> I hate frying things. I hate it, I hate it, I hate it. But I didn't wanna take a chance that they weren't gonna turn out and do a baked one. You could do these like the crispy tofu though. But today I'm just gonna fry them just so you could see that it's like chicken nugget like. But in the future I will be working on a recipe that is baked and healthier without the oil. All right, let's get situated here. First things first, I'm going to heat up my oil while I mix up my coating. And I'm using some avocado oil to uh, fry it in because it's got a higher smoke point and it's gonna, it's gonna hold up better. It's not gonna degrade. In the bowl over here, I've got flour, arrowroot, some seasonings including salt, onion, garlic, paprika, and some baking powder. I'm just gonna add a little unsweetened original cashew milk. You can use any kind of non-dairy milk, but make sure that it's unsweetened and not the one with the vanilla in it because you don't want vanilla chicken nuggets. That's not chic, say la vie. No. So I'm not measuring my milk. I'm probably just gonna start off with a little bit and try and get it to like a pancake batter consistency. It's gonna turn a little bit pink because of the paprika in there. Certainly, if you have a coating that you like to um, bread your patties or nuggets in, use that. If you got an amazing one, you are not hurting my feelings at all. Just use what you normally use. I think just a little bit more. All right, that looks about perfect. So we're just gonna take our nuggets, put them in, and give them a good mix. Okay, hopefully our oil is ready. I think it's pretty good. We'll put these in carefully. These take almost no time at all. Probably just a minute after you get them in, all of them, it's probably time to flip. All right, make sure um, you don't want them stuck together. Hey, you guys are stuck together. <laughs> These are getting close to ready to being flipped. So you could say it's like when you make silver dollar pancakes that most of the bottom is cooked, so that means it's almost time to flip. Let's see, let's try one. All Not right. too bad. We don't want it too dark. So that's just gonna take just another minute. All right, these are all done. So I'm gonna turn it off and put them on some uh, paper towel to soak up the extra grease or oil. It's not really grease. I wonder what qualifies as grease. Grease. <laughs> We're just going to let these cool off before we taste them because uh, we don't want to burn our faces off. Not today, anyway. All right. Whoa. Holy crap. Nice hair. Thanks. It's her birthday. <laughs> it's birthday hair. I'm really sorry. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. Oh, man. Birthdays really wear you out. But look at this. It's like we're at McDonald's, but better. What? <laughs> sorry. There's a little one that... Yeah, I'm just taking a little bite, guys, because I have to lunch. go to dance soon, and I had these for lunch. Yeah. <laughs> All right, here Those we go. Those look legit. Yeah. It's, I didn't have mine with barbecue sauce, though, so this is going to be something yeah. special. You had it au natural. Ooh! Oh, my God! <laughs> Try it with the barbecue sauce. I want you guys to hear the crunch. Oh! What is this, an ASMR Whoa. channel? Whoa. Right? Well you done. You fool some people with these. <laughs> I'm gonna have the rest of this. Okay. <laughs> so good. Wow. Guys, that's the end of Veganuary. Thank you so much for sticking with us. Hey, Sean. <laughs> Would you like to try? Let's get Sean. Yeah. Shawnee, try Shani, one. Try a chicken nugget. <laughs> Sean has not had one yet, so this will be Let's interesting. What do you think? Stand here and eat it. What do you think? He said, you like I'm it? Going back He's going back for more. more. Uh, yeah. Is, is it that good? good? Mm. What's better, that or McDonald's? I think you have your answer. <laughs> All right, get out. <laughs>
Thank you, okay. Sean. <laughs> so there you have it. Sean can't be wrong, right? Because he's not going to lie. Nope. So we'll still be posting videos after Veganuary. Obviously, um, the next one coming up, I'll give you a little sneak preview, is for a Super Bowl garbage plate. So I hope you tune in for that. It's going to be up on Friday. Thank you so much for sticking with us on our Veganuary journey. And until next time, much love.